Yeah, it's been a year of changes for everyone. We've got some parents who say that they're not ready for their students to go back to the classroom. And then we've got some parents who say that this isn't enough days in the classroom. Then in the middle, we have the students who are trying to learn through the different instructional models. It's it's been wrought with with difficulty and um, some frustration. It's been a challenge to say the least. Frustration, absolutely. From how some parents of CMS students describe the last year of school for their children. Glenn Stevens' son John is a second grader with special needs. When you have a child like John for whom Zoom was difficult, if not impossible, you know it makes the entire last year. Difficult to impossible. John will finally be back in the classroom five days a week starting next Monday. It was a great sense of relief. At the same time, we're asking why can't his peers go back to school with him? Why, why do we still have that Wednesday in which elementary schoolers aren't able to go back to school? At the same time, Harolyn Belvin, who has a daughter in fourth grade, is questioning the quick changes in instruction model. I just think that people aren't really taking into consideration what all of the sudden changes are doing to the children and the families and the teachers. Ro Lawson has a daughter in middle school and two sons in high school. You have three resources, okay? Now back in the classroom two days a week. All three of them, they're glad that they're back in and I just hope that we can continue to build on this and get him back five days a week. Parents and students trying to navigate whatever changes happen with several weeks left in the school year. I applaud um, every parent for trying to do everything they can with their kids to try and get through this challenging time because this just isn't the way that kids should be learning. Important to note, CMS does still have a full remote academy, but they are not currently allowing students to switch between the two options. In West Charlotte, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.